In the tender aftermath of childbirth, the glow of new motherhood often conceals a silent struggle that affects countless women worldwide postpartum depression. Some extreme cases of postpartum depression have resulted in mothers harming their infants, so it's important to approach this topic with sensitivity and understanding. This pervasive condition transcends cultural and socioeconomic boundaries, casting a shadow on what should be a time of celebration. Join us as we explore the effects of postpartum depression on your life. Here's how postpartum depression can hurt a woman and her relationships. Risk of self-harm or suicidal thoughts. In severe cases, postpartum depression can increase the risk of self-harm or suicidal thoughts. A woman may experience intrusive thoughts of harming herself or her baby, leading to feelings of intense fear and shame. Emotional distress. A woman experiencing postpartum depression may feel overwhelming sadness, guilt, or hopelessness, which can interfere with her ability to enjoy motherhood and bond with her baby. She may struggle with feelings of inadequacy or fear that she is not a good mother. Difficulty bonding with baby some women with postpartum depression may struggle to bond with their newborns, which can impact the baby's emotional development and attachment. A lack of bonding may also contribute to feelings of guilt and shame for the mother. Impact on parenting. Postpartum depression can impair a woman's ability to care for her baby, leading to difficulties with feeding, soothing, and responding to the baby's needs. This can result in increased stress for both the mother and the baby and may affect the baby's development and well-being. Physical symptoms. Postpartum depression can manifest with physical symptoms such as fatigue, changes in appetite, trouble sleeping, and physical aches and pains. These symptoms can further exacerbate the woman's distress and make it challenging for her to care for herself and her baby. Impact on relationships. Postpartum depression can strain relationships with a partner, family members, and friends. A woman may withdraw from social interactions, have difficulty communicating her feelings, or feel disconnected from her loved ones, leading to increased feelings of isolation and loneliness. Neglecting self-care. Women with postpartum depression may neglect their own self-care, such as eating well, getting enough rest, and seeking medical attention when needed. This can lead to physical health problems and exacerbate the symptoms of depression. Let me tell you a real life story of a woman who is going through postpartum depression. In a small town, a first-time new mother, Emily struggled silently with postpartum depression after the birth of her first child. Overwhelmed by feelings of sadness, anxiety, and hopelessness, Emily found it increasingly difficult to bond with her newborn daughter, Lily. Despite her efforts to hide her struggles from her family and friends, Emily's symptoms worsened over time and she began experiencing intrusive thoughts about harming Lily. One evening, in a moment of extreme despair, Emily attempted to harm Lily, but was interrupted by a family member who happened to visit unexpectedly. Shocked and alarmed by Emily's behavior, the family member immediately intervened and sought help from emergency services where she received intensive treatment and support for her postpartum depression. It's important to recognize that postpartum depression is a common and treatable condition. With appropriate support, including therapy, medication, and practical assistance with childcare, many women are able to recover from PPD and enjoy a fulfilling experience of motherhood.